Good morning, everyone. <clears throat> I was going to start really early, but you know how it goes. Phone call after phone call. And then, you know, the time just slips by. So, hope you're having a really beautiful Sunday. It's, uh, again, it's a scorcher over here in Holland. But it's uh, not that warm in here. It's uh, 23 Celsius, so that's okay. Now, uh, I have some colors mixed up. It's my Van Dyke Brown with orange in it. This is the uh, Sienna, the transparent one. This is Titanium Buff. Oh no, Naples Yellow, I think. Let me check. Now, this is a Naples Yellow with a Titanium White. Then I have uh, an Oops color. Because I thought I was putting a phthalo blue in it, but it was Prussian blue. So this is a really um, different color. I've never had this one before. Then I have a turquoise and a more greenish turquoise. And what I'm going to do is um, do a 20 by 20 first because this is a lot of paint. And then I'm going to do a bigger one. So I'm hoping that it's all going to work out. So for this one, I need a cup of paint. How I mixed it, that is important because otherwise I'll be getting all the questions. Um, okay, what I did with this, because you know I always experiment, right? So I put paint in the cup, then I put in 40% of pouring medium, the new one, pouring medium. Then I put in, this is polymer medium. People that uh, have bought this, they know what this is, polymer medium. There's a little bit of the uh, label come off. Just a squirt in there. And then this, what I have in here is PVA with water. It's a mix like, I'd say 70% PVA and 30% water and I mixed it up. So that's what's in my mix. And of course, a little bit of silicone. Now we're going to start off with this nice Naples yellow color. And I think I might just do a couple of layers of color. And then I'd like this beautiful sienna color. Smack in the middle of it. Then the darker turquoise. In the middle. Then the brown. I'm hoping to get a little bit of nice little cells of that brownish stuff. Then a little bit more of that. Another little bit of turquoise. And I think we have enough. I might even put that blue in there. Why not? We have enough. Okay, so we're gonna put it on top and Turn it around. There it is. And then we're going to let it all come out. Oops, it came out, but it went straight over the side. Well, okay. Can't help it. I wasn't paying attention. So we're going to scoop it up and lay it down. And let it go over the side. There it is over the side, a little bit down here, that's it. Oh, I have a corner here exposed, but I want to torch it anyway. Ooh, that is pretty. Look at that. Those are some awesome cells. Oh, it's almost empty. Yep. I have to fill it a little bit. Now, what I didn't put in was um, uh, the uh, silicone of the uh, Floetrol. I forgot Floetrol. But that's okay. A little bit down here. 
Now what we have is a lot of cells, but we also have some really big holes in it, which as you know, I don't really like, so I'm going to pour that off a little bit. And we'll have to just do that very slowly. As you can see, it's really starting to make these cells a little bigger. But I would really like this thing off because I don't like it. So here it comes. It's moving down. And while we're doing this, we're making it bigger and bigger and bigger. Those cells are really starting to look really beautiful. And while we're doing this, um, sometimes you just have to let it look at that, how beautiful this is becoming. That is really pretty. Let me get in really close. There it is. Look at that. And I still have some that has to come down here. Just a little bit on here. There it goes. And I might really want this coming down a little bit more. So we're going to give it another tilt and I can see it coming down but not really fast so I'm tapping it on the table making sure they're not stretched too much I do like the uh, the flow of the um, of the cells but you don't want them stretched too much too long Wow, look at that. That is awesome, isn't it? <coughs> yep, I'm happy with this one. That is some beautiful cells. I like how this is working, and especially that. Let me get in really close. Gotta watch out for my little microphone wire. That is awesome. But too bad not all the colors came up. Let's do that again with another uh, canvas and we'll see what happens. Let me get you back in focus. There you are. So that's it, guys. That is the pour. So let me put it away. And of course we have all this drip off and we're going to do something with it. I'm going to scoop it up from the table, put it on the card. See that? There is um, a lot of people asking, keep on asking what I do with these cards. Well, um, I make jewelry. Uh, I put them in a bezel in a sort of a setting then um, I fill it with resin so it makes a nice little dome and of course it um, keeps it protected from the elements so uh, the colors won't fade and all that kind of stuff and um, then I um, usually do a little bit of beadwork and then uh, you have a really beautiful necklace now if you're wondering because I get a lot of people ask me can you show it? I have already shown it like a couple of times. So what I'd like to uh, remind you guys of is under the video, uh, you'll have to be on a computer to get to the uh, information under the video, but it's worth it just to log in once on a video or on a computer because um, there's a um, an Excel sheet with keywords. So it will be really easy to find all the um, videos where I do the jewelry or you can just search the channel you can do that too put in necklace or uh, jewelry and you will find them 
Ooh, that's a nice swipe. I'm gonna keep it like that. Let's see. Now I'm going to let it swoop a little because I like when it swoops, just a little. You can see it now come down here a little bit. We're going to keep this one. And then, oops, made it a little bit of a mess on my cards here, but that's okay. Now I'm going to get it all on there and you can see how fast it's changing to one color and it's not an ugly color, it's more of an antique green but I also would like a little definition in here. I don't know who's playing the music that loud but I'm hearing a lot of music outside. is almost falling off. Never know what we're going to do with this. I like, kind of like that there. And make one new one. Okay, one uh, little one where I'm going to press it together. Oops. Shouldn't have done that. That's my stick. It has to go back in. I'm putting all the colors just on here. And a little bit of random water. Oh, what I've been watching lately, because I always talk to you guys about what I watch on TV. I have done, um, I have watched Desperate Housewives all over again, all eight seasons. Took me two weeks, but it was fun because it was, I think it was a while back that I had uh, watched that. And uh, I might have skipped a couple when it was on TV. Mm. So, um... I watched the whole thing all, all over again, and the, it was fun. Not that interesting, people. I don't like this. Let's see. Let's pick this up. Let's do this again. Ooh, turning all ugly again. Okay, can't help it. Is kind of interesting that bit let's see see that that's nice keeping this one too now I have to make something out of this one but I'll just clean off my little pellet knife here okay let's put some more of this color in here because I like that color. Oops. And a little bit of this color. And then I have to stop all I won't have enough paint for the big one. Okay, let's scoop it all up. Scoop it all up to the end here. That's it. Make sure your bottom is nice and clean. That's clean enough. Pull it up a little and then wham, let's pull it down. That's it. Let's see what happens.
Yeah, I kind of like these colors together. I, I think uh, what I like most is the uh, the rusty color. I kind of like that. It's like um, weathered metal or something like that. There, uh, there you go. See that? Okay. And another thing I watched was uh, the staircase. I bet you all followed that there in the USA about, um, I, I can't even remember his first name, but um, this guy Peterson, who was married and his wife was found at the bottom of the stairs. There was like, I don't know how much blood, but there was a lot of blood all over the place. And then um, he said he didn't know anything about it. But there were some family members, her sister, I believe, that didn't believe him. Okay, this is a nice, pretty one. Let's see if I can get in close. There it is. We'll keep this one, too. So if you haven't seen it, it's a series, I think 13 episodes going through the whole case, you know, and, um, and they showed a lot of uh, pictures, but that was a little bit, um, well, I, I think that they could have left that out because I can't imagine what that would do to a uh, family. But um, in the end, he, he pleaded something as an Alfred plea or something like that, and then he got out, but that's always sad when something like that happens. Let's just make it go down a little bit. See, I really don't like those spots. Let's see, where's my little, I don't have my little bamboo stick. Let's do it with this. Because I just might want to use this bit here for a, um, for a necklace. Because I kind of like this here. See, this then I'll, I would throw this out, but this bit here is really pretty. Got to get it really in close. There it is. Okay, and the thing is, guys, I do, I cut this with a uh, brother scan and cut. And uh, if you Google it, you'll find the, um, the places where you can buy one. You don't need the really, really expensive ones, you know, just one that does the basics, ovals and the squares and the rectangles, that's more than enough. So it doesn't have to be that expensive, but it really cuts them out perfectly and um, it saves a lot of um, uh, messed up pieces of uh, this skins. So um, I think it is worth it if you're doing a lot of jewelry or you might even have a, a friend that is into the same that you're into and you could buy the buy one of those machines together if you trust each other that is so um, that way you could both use it so uh, it's a lot of help and it cuts it out nicely okay guys I won't take this any further I'm gonna clean this mess up here uh, I might keep this though because I'm, I'm starting to like the color it's really like a sort of jade antique green I like the color so I might keep that put it in a little cup put a little lid on it for later so love you all to pieces and I'll be back with the bigger one in a flash love you bye bye